Hello everyone. In this video, I would show you how to apply support for multiple languages in your Vue.js applications. So in this uh, example, I have applied support for uh, German and Hindi languages aside from English, of course. So if I uh, select German, uh, which is currently selected by the way, uh, all these, some of the, uh, not all of the, those, but uh, some of the uh, text uh, which are, which have translations available, they would be displayed in German. If I select Hindi, so you can see, uh, yeah, Hindi is my native language. I am from India. So yeah, you need to basically define key value pairs uh, for the languages, basically uh, for all the languages you want the support for in your applications. Uh, each language would have a JSON file. We would come to later. Um, so yeah, just wanted to show you that. Uh, I have selected English uh, again and um, let's just uh, uh, go through uh, the packages which I used and um, uh, like basically how I implemented it. Uh, the videos on my channel, they are structured in a way that um, there won't be a lot of time uh, you would see me coding instead uh, it would be me explaining things and uh, attaching the link of the repository uh, so for you to uh, to check that out okay so yeah basically uh, me going through uh, the editor code basically walking so i would start with uh, main.js this is where i have imported um, this create i18 object from uh, view i18 uh, view i18 uh, package it is a very uh, uh, popular package for uh, applying multi language support in vue.js so yeah uh, the way it works is you have uh, this folder called locales and inside this folder you have the json file defined for all the languages which you want support for in my case uh, i have uh, three json files one for uh, german and uh, one for english and the other for hindi okay so i have imported all these uh, locale uh, files uh, and uh, i have uh, uh, i have the, them in the messages uh, object which i have passed here while creating the uh, create i18 uh, in, in object so I have few options here like locale, uh, what would like, uh, what would you like the default language to be, which is English in my case. And uh, if there's, there's uh, no translation available for certain text, then uh, what uh, uh, language um, it should look to fall back to, uh, which in this case is English. And then again on line number 28, I have uh, not on 28 there's line number 29 i have initialized uh this i18 object so it, it uh, would be available uh throughout your vue.js applications so uh, now i would come to the navigation panel where i have um, um, the translation supplied okay or better uh, let's, let's just go to the home page um, this is the home page and uh, the text you which you see here this uh, jcan is an unofficial api this text is actually coming from the locales file and uh, if i choose a different language uh, as you can see uh, this uh, text gets updated okay so we would see it how uh, it's it's working behind the scenes so in the uh, home.view file, so this is basically uh, line number 109 uh, precisely. This is where I am getting the value from uh, the translations. Uh, I am using this dollar $t uh, for uh, translations. Okay. So um, This dollar $t is uh, defined in view uh, i18. Okay, let's just uh, uh, move to the component where I have uh, this language translation enabled. Uh, it is this uh, language selection uh, component. 
so the drop down which you see here is uh, coming from this uh, component called uh, language selection uh, once a language is selected i uh, am basically setting the value uh, to the locale so that it gets updated throughout the application i am uh, uh, initializing this uh, t and uh, locale um, key values from this use i18 and uh, basically setting the values okay and this dollar uh, t um, you can use uh, to access the variables define your local files uh, throughout your application okay and uh, this is possible because of uh, initializing in the main.js file okay so this makes uh, sure that um, this i18 in uh, translations are available throughout your application okay so let's just add uh, one more translation uh, let's say i want to <coughs> so what i would do i would go to the locales file and i would start with english i would have two more keys okay uh, i would just copy these uh, newly added keys to my other locale files i would take the help of uh, github copilot could you please translate lines 10 and 11 Okay, uh, finally I have translations for uh, both these uh, newly added uh, uh, keys in Hindi. Uh, I would do the same uh, for uh, German translations. Let's just select these two lines and uh, give a prompt. Can you provide Let's see if uh, it works. Uh, it seems it did okay so now we have uh, uh, the translations available for Hindi and uh, German English as, as well um, okay so yeah we initially added uh, the keys in our English file which is the default um, language and then uh, we just uh, had those keys in our other locale files as well okay and the uh, uh, next step would be simply uh, just uh, replace the text of the button so i would just uh, search for it uh, those buttons uh, are defined on the home page read the docs so this is it on line number 118 so i'm going to replace this value with this value this one as well the key name was watch demo okay so let's test this out yep it is working so yeah uh, there you go guys uh, we have successfully implemented uh, support for multiple languages in our Vue.js application uh, as uh, always you would have the link of the repository attached in the description uh, of this video so please check it out and if this video did add uh, some value to you so please uh, consider subscribing for uh, more uh, tech related videos like this 
uh, I would uh, a lot of times uh, whatever problems I face in my um, job as a software engineer I would try to make videos on it, on it 